Welcome to PQB TV. I'm Dominique. And I'm Jasmine. And this is our seventh episode. episode. Number seven. What is seven? Oh, I forgot complete. what seven. It was. I thought eight was complete. No, seven is complete. Eight is the beginnings. Seven is complete. Oh, and that was my number. That's horrible. Mine was. Yours was eight. eight. Yeah, mine was eight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, seven is the number of completion. Yes. And this completes our series, our two-part series. Yes. The first half of That's our... Good. What? You said completes our two-part series. Oh, yeah. Right. I like that. Okay. okay. So, I got a book, so I'm going to be looking down, so don't Sorry. mind that. So, to recap, part two, we talked about how we lose our standards, and we had three points. The first point was settling. Um, basically, we sell ourselves short of amazing. Mm -hmm. So, we believe that whatever we desire, we deserve. So, mm -hmm. if you want it, you can have it. Don't settle yourself. Don't sell yourself short. Don't settle for anything less than what you desire. Mm -hmm. Like, if they don't accept it now, just be like, okay, well, don't talk to me. Like, you know, right. don't, don't point out my flaws if you're not going to accept them. Number three was changing who you are. If you don't like who you are, how do you expect for anybody to love you, the real you, you know, yeah. if you don't love you? So yeah, that was part number one. So now we're at part number two, talking about how we should keep our standards. One of our points is with keeping our standards is um, loving yourself. It starts there. Like, um, it can be a lot of things that are small that you may not notice um, that you don't like about yourself. I remember I wanted curly hair. I was like, Lord, I wanted hazel eyes. Um, I wanted to be I mean, all of it. And it was like, okay, but do you even love who you are, how I made you, you know? And it can just be something so small as that, um, even personality-wise. And I'm telling you, when you don't love yourself, Jealousy and envy is so present, and I'm just gonna share because this is because this I'm gonna be That's real. <laughs> I was at one of my friends' house for um, a birthday party, and there was this girl, and she was very pretty, very pretty. And so I remember she said she said something, and I was just kind of standing there, and I mocked her. I mocked her, and it was like I don't know. She I think she says, okay, well, can we gonna go down to this? To the valley or whatever and i was like can we go down to the valley and i didn't notice you mocked it in like a uh way in a, or... no it was like a uh way <laughs> like it was a uh way and and then i didn't know what i did until after she looked at me and i was like that was really bad so jealousy and envy will just pour out like right just pour out because then if you're not content and and loving yourself and who you are like it's gonna show it will it will. I didn't love myself, my testimony. I didn't love myself, so I was just acting like any old thing. Like, I could adapt in anywhere I'm at. Like, if you this, I could be like this. If you this. Instead of just being who you are all mm. the time, you know? If you don't love you, my mom has always told me that growing up. Like, if you don't love you, because I was an overweight kid growing up, and she's always telling me, like, girl, you better get down if you want. Like, you know, if you don't love you, nobody's going to love you. You don't expect nobody else to love you if you don't. And that's true. Mm -hmm. Like, because when you love you, you set a certain standard to how you got to be loved and yeah. people they either agree with that and I think people flock to it really mm -hmm. like when you have a certain way about you and you're just so you you're uniquely you mm -hmm. so you know walk in that like whoever you are don't try to be like a celebrity like, be you I'm mm -hmm. Dominique this is Jasmine we are who we are <laughs> I mean and then I think of it as it's a slap to God's face. Like, that's what I started thinking about. Because I was like, I don't want to look like this. I don't want to be like this. And he like, but I made you like this, so... And that's how we are. That's how society paints us. Like, that's what society make us feel like. Set your own trains, basically. Right. Set them. So love yourself. That's one. That's a great person. example to me is the Proverbs 31 woman. There it is. When I was reading that, like, she holds her own. Her husband is confident in her. Like, her children praise her. Mm. She works. She makes garments and sashes. She's a boss. Like, all of that. Like, she works in the morning before the sun mm. comes. Like, she's just an independent 
woman like you know it don't say she chases her husband around all day <laughs> like she does like she's an independent woman and it says a virtuous wife who can find her meaning that she is rare meaning that there's not too mm, many people like that that's good you know like so the proverbs 31 woman is a great example like and i heard a pastor or preacher or whatever um talk about that he was saying like to the single woman like study that type of woman mm. like you know read that like daily like get that in you so you can become like an independent mm. woman like you know and you'll start to love yourself i think it's even good to try to study some of the women in yeah. the bible right um just you know looking at that just even Ruth. Ruth was out there working. Yeah, she wasn't <laughs> worried. She was not worried about her Boaz. <laughs> she was out there working. Just basically figuring out what you want to do in life. Like, figuring out who you want to be. Like, that's your standard right there. Mm -hmm. Once you realize, okay, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. That's your standard. Then you got to get your foundation right. Like, how are you going to work that? Like, how are you going to live that daily? Like, is your foundation going to be easily shaken when just anybody come in? Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to save yourself from marriage, how strong is your foundation when that fine, fine man come and be like, mm, I ain't waiting on mar marriage. What you gonna do? You gonna keep your standard? Or are you gonna let it all go? Let's, are you, let's talk about yeah, that. Let's talk about it. Like, are you gonna keep your standard or are you going to fall? Like, mm. think about the consequences though. If you do that, think about reaping what you sow. Like, you're yeah. gonna reap what you sow, like, you know. But how strong is your foundation? Getting your foundation, getting your standard, who who you are and what you wanna do, who you wanna serve. Mm -hmm. Because it's God, if it's God, then we have to live in holiness and righteousness. It's not always easy. Yes, we lust over somebody, or oh, he fine, or oh, you gotta, you gotta control your thoughts. Like, <laughs> catch yourself. You gotta, you gotta catch yourself. Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, ultimately, what is your foundation? Who are you trying to serve and who are you trying to be? Like, work mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Like, because if you're so easily shaken up, you're going to keep putting you last to a man or you're going to mm -hmm. keep putting you last to a female. Like, and you're going to have to start over and over and over and over to regain yourself. <laughs> I'm really just like thinking like, like, that is crazy when you think about it. It is. You do got to put yourself first and, and pour and let... God really pour into you and um, sometimes it sounds selfish but you do got to think about yourself you, you, do. you really do and it's if you so and if you think about yourself last or putting yourself last within a relationship you'll look to what worn out and you're gonna be aggravated irritable frustrated and they're like what is wrong with you and they're not even seeing the real you exactly. it's just all this stuff just blocking just yeah. blocking um, I know we were talking about, you know, the celebrities and stuff, not even, um, comparing yourself. That is big. That was me. Oh my gosh. You know, just really comparing yourself to, to other people. It's like, that is so unhealthy. <laughs> like it, it, it really it is. is. Like I'm doing all this cause I'm like, it's just really, it's unhealthy. When you're authentically you people, you're going to automatically attract the real, like, you know, to, to be honest, you know, this is what you do. If you're going to compare yourself, not even compare yourself, but you should look at yourself and say, I want to be more like Christ, period. Like, checkmate. That's just, that's <laughs> it. Like, right. that, that's, and, and then, and honestly, people, yes, beauty is on the outside as well, but everybody wants to be inside. Beautiful inside see into my their spirit the light of christ will project so much out where it's like they're like you look really have you ever been somewhere and you just walk in they're like you look really pretty you like girl i look toe up like right, i got on right. my hoodie right. like, it's christ for real the light of for christ real. I was like really just heavy, like reading my word, just praying every day, just happy. I was single, I just, I'm still single, but I was just <laughs> content. Like it was just a certain part of my life. I was just like so content in God and stuff. And then my ex FaceTimed me. So we on FaceTime and stuff. And he like, why are you glowing? You look all happy. Like who you dated? I'm like, I ain't dated nobody. I ain't got nobody. I said, no, never mind. I do. He like, who God? I'm like, yep. There <laughs> it is. You already know. He was just like, why are you so glowing? Like who made you wow. happy? 
and I'm just like, God is really making me happy. So like, it's not, it kind of sounds so cliche because we've hear it all mm -hmm. of our life, but really apply it, really try to it's apply it. No because sense. I never in my life thought that I would love God the way that I do. Mm. Like I always knew that there was a God, but I was out in the world doing what I wanted to do mm -hmm. and being, you know, out doing whatever, being whoever, you know, but once you really want that relationship, it's possible for you to get it. And it's very important because you grow not just physically and all, but you grow as a person. Mm -hmm. Like you want to be better within yeah. yourself. Like it ain't, then it don't become about everybody else. It really becomes about you because you're like, look, I want to grow. I want to do right. better. I want to be better than who I was in the past. Oh, Hashtag the glow up. <laughs> the glow up. For real, that's the true glow up. Yeah. And don't get it twisted. Like, just because you choose to follow Christ over your old ways, that doesn't mean you have to lose your personality. Yeah. Like, you can still be bubbly. You can still mm -hmm. be funny. You can still, like, you know, crack jokes and do whatever you got to do. But it's just a certain standard that right. you're going to want to change it. Like, you're going to want to change the things that the places that you used to go, the music that you listen to. Don't get it twisted. I love trap music. <laughs> I love hip hop. You know, that's just who I was. Like, I'm like, God, is it bad? Like, just listen to it. <laughs> but you know when it get in your spirit it, it, it does make a change like mm -hmm. it shifts your mindset mm -hmm. like you listen to all this cussing and sex and all this mm -hmm. stuff and you then you get the feelings of them like oh I don't want to be <laughs> I don't want to feel that I don't, don't want to do that. that type of temptation yeah. but yeah keeping your standards it's very important. Mm -hmm. Losing your standards, we all have done it. We're testifying. We've done it. Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone went through that stage where yeah. they just you glue up. You know what? That's what we're trying to do. We're growing. We're growing up and glowing up. So, yes, the glow yes, up. And we want you guys to to glow up as well. We're as we're yes. still in like the process. We need to do a video on that. The process. The process is always probably, it's, it's gonna be always there. So, anyways, <laughs> you know, just embrace it. But right. we want you all to have that experience of the glow up and I know there's people that suffer from depression um, because they are insecure because they so quickly um, compare themselves and then it's like okay cause she's popular because of how she looks she's pretty and so then a person that walked past that might be you know beautiful natural. as well natural I mean I'll be honest I was never the girl that guys just went to that wasn't me my husband was kind of like, it had to play off the personality. Once they, they start talking to me, then it was like, oh. And that's then better it anyway. Don't try to be somebody else to attract a man or, you know, get more friends. Like, if they don't love you for you, I'd rather have somebody not like me because of who I am than love me for who I'm not. Like, I'd rather just be me. So, that yeah. Deep. That was deep. Take that. So, Take that. we really hope you guys enjoyed all yes. this what you take from it is love yourself love yourself fall be in love with Christ you. and be true to you and don't compare yourself because it's only one you take this week and read the reading that my um my dear sister study one read it because I think I'm gonna go back soak and read it. it and just Me soak too. in it and marinate in it and sauce it so, so yeah Thank you guys for watching. We hope yes. that you guys take something from this. Watch the first um, series, if, first part, if you didn't already. And then tell us what you think. Like, feedback. We love it. Mm -hmm. We accept it. If you guys have any prayer requests, email us at impursuingqueenvalues at gmail.com. DM us on Instagram. Our Instagram is pursuingqueenvalues. And we will pray for you. Yes. So we love you. And we thank you guys for watching and supporting us. Yes. As we end in prayer. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Just thanking you for today, Lord. Thank you for this uh, video, Lord. As anyone that is watching, Lord God, I just ask that your Holy Spirit, Father God, would just um, fill them, oh God, with everything that was here, Father God, that if they're battling depression or insecurity, Father God, I just ask that you just um, deliver them and break those chains off of them, Father right. God. So we just thank you, Lord. We just thank you. And I just ask that um, anybody's watching that they would just lay anything that they are battling with at your feet father God knowing that you would deal with it oh God and that they will know who they are in Christ mm -hmm. so we just thank you and we praise you in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. Woo! see y'all next week <laughs> <laughs> love, you guys. love you bye, bye.